Cabanatuan, officially the city of Cabanatuan, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Cabanatuan, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa Cabanatuan, Ilocano, Ciudad t Cabanatuan, Kapampangan, Lacanbalan ng Cabanatuan, Pangasinan, Ciudad na Cabanatuan, also known as Cabzi, or simply Cabanatuan City is a first-class city in the province of Nueva Ecija, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 302,231 people, making it the most populous city in Nueva Ecija and the fifth populous in central Luzon. The city is popular for being home to more than 30,000 tricycles, thus printing itself as the tricycle capital of the Philippines. And its strategic location along the Cagayan Valley Road has made the city a major economic, educational, medical, entertainment shopping and transportation center in Nueva Ecija and nearby provinces in the region such as Aurora and Bulacan. It has also earned the moniker, Gateway to the North. Cabanatuan remained as Nueva Ecija. S capital until 1965 when the government created nearby Palayan City as the new provincial capital. Nueva Ecija's old capital and other government offices are still used and maintained by the provincial administration. History Cabanatuan was founded as a barrio of Gapan in 1750 and became a municipality and capital of La Provincia de Nueva Ecija in 1780. Cabanatuan is the site of the historical Plaza Lucero and the Cabanatuan Cathedral, where General Antonio Luna was assassinated by Captain Pedro Janelino and members of the Kawit Battalion. Cabanatuan lost the title of provincial capital in 1850 when the capital of Nueva Ecija was moved to San Isidro, another historic town. It was only in 1917, when the administrative code was enacted, that Cabanatuan was restored as capital of the province. However, in 1965, Congress created Palayan City, which has been the capital ever since. During World War II, the occupying Japanese built Cabanatuan Prison Camp, where many American soldiers were imprisoned, some of whom had been forced to endure the infamous Bataan Death March. In January 1945, elements of the U.S. Army 6th Ranger Battalion marched 30 miles 48 kilometers behind enemy lines to rescue the prisoners in what became known as the Raid at Cabanatuan. As a result of the raid on January 30, 1945, victorious Filipino guerrillas and American troops of the U.S. Army 6th Ranger Battalion celebrated having obtained the freedom of 500 American POWs. Soon thereafter, Philippine and American forces re-established the presence of military general headquarters and military camp bases of the Philippine Commonwealth Army, Philippine Constabulary 2nd Constabulary Regiment, and the United States Army in Cabanatuan from February 1, 1945 to June 30, 1946 during the Allied Liberation. Before long, the combined Philippine Commonwealth and American Armed Forces, in cooperation with local guerrilla resistance fighters and Hukbalahap communist guerrillas, had liberated central Luzon from Japanese imperial forces, a campaign that lasted from January until August 1945. In 1957, the barrios of Mataz na Cahoyt, Balancari Norte, Balancari Sur, Sapang Kawayan, Magasawang Sampaloc, Talabutab Norte, Talabutab Sur, Platero, Belan, Pesilion, Piñahan, Kabulahan, Pasong Hari, Balaring, Pulong Sinkamas, Panaxic, Bravo, Sapang Bado, Baral, Miller, Tila Patio, Pula, Carane, and Acacia were separated from Cabanatuan and constituted into a separate and independent municipality known as General Mamerton. Natividad, Cabanatuan was the epicenter of a very strong earthquake at roughly 3 p.m. on July 16, 1990. It leveled some buildings, including the Christian College of the Philippines Colleges, in the midst of class time. At 7. 8 on the surface wave magnitude scale, it killed 1,653 people. Conversion from town, component city to highly urbanized city Cabanatuan became a city by virtue of Republic Act No. 526, approved on June 16, 1950. In 1998, Cabanatuan was declared by then-President Fidel V. Ramos as a highly urbanized city however it failed ratification after the majority of votes in the plebiscite was negative. 
Cabanatuan was declared as highly urbanized city by President Benigno S. Aquino III under Presidential Proclamation No. 418 on July 14, 2012. A plebiscite scheduled on December 2012 was moved by the Commission on Elections to January 25, 2014 so as not to burden the poll body during its preparation for the 2013 local elections in the province. Incumbent Governor Aurelio Matias Umali, who had a strong voter base in the city, opposed the conversion and submitted a petition to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court issued a temporary restraining order on January 24, 2014. On April 23, 2014, voting 9-5-1, the Supreme Court granted a petition for certiorari filed by Nueva Ecija Governor Aurelio Umali and declared as null and void Comelec Minute Resolution No. 120797 dated September 11, 2012 and Minute Resolution No. 120925 dated October 16, 2012 setting a date for the conduct of a plebiscite in which only registered voters of Cabanatuan would be allowed to vote. The province-wide plebiscite was rescheduled for November 8, 2014, but cancelled again because the Cabanatuan city government couldn't provide the funds needed for the plebiscite. No new date has been set until city government certifies that 101 million pesos is available for the holding of the plebiscite. Geography Cabanatuan city is located in the rolling central plains of Luzon drained by the Pampanga River. The city is seated 14 kilometers, 8.7 miles southwest of the provincial capital Palayan City and 120 kilometers, 75 miles north of Manila. The geographic coordinates of Cabanatuan City are 15 degrees 29, 22 n, 120 degrees 58, 14 e. Climate Cabanatuan has a tropical wet and dry climate, Köppen climate classification, ah, with year-round warm weather and distinct dry and wet seasons. It is touted as one of the hottest cities in the country. In the summer season of 2011, Cabanatuan reached its hottest temperature at 39.8 degrees Celsius, also the hottest in the Philippines in that same year. And on June 4, 2015, Pagasa reported a 53 degrees Celsius (127 degrees Fahrenheit) heat index for the city, which is the hottest yet recorded. Barangays. Cabanatuan City is administratively subdivided into 89 barangays. Demographics Religion Roman Catholicism has been the predominant religion in the city, being host to a major cathedral, the St. Nicholas of Tolentine Cathedral which serves as the seat of the Bishop of the Diocese of Cabanatuan. There are three major Catholic structures located within the city, these are the Mother of Perpetual Health Parish, the Carmelite Sisters Convent and the Maria Assumpta Seminary. Local chapels parishes are also present in most barangays. Iglesia ni Cristo also maintains a sizable presence in Cabanatuan with its large house of worship in Brigitte Zaleta with a 5,000 person seating inside. Jesus Miracle Crusade International Ministry acronym as JMCIM, is an apostolic Pentecostal religious group in the Philippines which believes particularly in the promotion of miracles and faith in God for healing. Jesus is Lord Church, Jill Church, is located at Circumferential Road. The United Methodist Church also has many local churches with large number of congregations within the city. The United Methodist Church owns the Wesleyan University Philippines and the WUPCMC Hospital. Other Christian denominations also exist. The Islamic faith also has a presence in Cabanatuan, specifically within the districts of Amelda and Isla. Two large mosques exist in the city, with the largest located at Amelda District. Economy Cabanatuan is the economic heart of Nueva Ecija. More than 640,000 people live in its metropolitan area comprising the city and its adjacent municipalities. As a hub, many people in Nueva Ecija commute to the city during the day. This causes the city's daytime population to swell to about a million. Although Cabanatuan does not have significant manufacturing industries, its dynamic service sector together with the thriving agriculture drives the economy forward. 
The city is a vital financial center housing a good number of banks, non-bank financial institutions and headquarters of some of the largest rural banks in central Luzon. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas BSP maintains a branch in the city that performs cash operations and cash administration. Approximately 43 billion pesos in deposit liabilities is kept in the city's 65 banks as of June 2018. This amount constitutes more than half of the province's deposits. In terms of banking convenience, the city ranks as one of the most livable in the country together with Makati City. Cabanatuan Electric Corporation CELCOR, distributes electricity to the city. Power generation companies like FCBC and FCRV operate a 12 to 8 MW diesel power plant and a 10 MW solar power plant, respectively. Globe Telecom, Smart Communications and Sun Cellular also have their business offices located in the city. The Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company PLDT, have their business office at General Tinio Street, while Digitel is in Mabina Extension. TV and radio stations are also present in the city. The motor vehicle industry is a notable part of the city economy. Popular global automotive companies has established dealerships in the city's metropolitan area. Existing car-truck dealerships include Toyota, Toyota Cabanatuan Inc. being the 604th largest Philippine corporation, Mitsubishi, Kia, Isuzu, Mazda, Ford, Nissan, Peugeot, Hyundai, Suzuki, and Mahindra, all in Cabanatuan, Photon and Honda in Santa Rosa Town, Chevrolet and Hino in San Leonardo Town. Motorcycle dealerships are common like in most Philippine mid-sized cities. The city is also a distribution and logistics center for goods and commodities. A number of distribution warehouses and sales offices of various companies serve the whole of Nueva Ecija and parts of neighboring provinces. The NFA warehouses in the city play an important role in regulating Nueva Ecija's burgeoning rice industry. The city acts as a trading place or bagshakan of agricultural produce from the surrounding farming communities. Indicators reflect Cabanatuan's economic achievements in the past few years. Annual business registrations in the city grew 31.7% last 2015 while locally sourced taxes grew 14.81% annually in the five years to 2015. Residential buildings and subdivisions, numbering more than a hundred, are taking up lands on the fringes of the downtown. The presence of big land developers such as STA. Lucia Realty, Vista Land and Ayala Land ensures competition and quality in the new suburban homes. New commercial buildings are springing up in the CBD and along Maharlika Highway on the average of 75 per year. Cabanatuan nowadays is gradually becoming a major investment hub and is considered as one of the most competitive cities for doing business in the country. Investors in banking, real estate, retail and other business and industrial enterprises are similarly drawn to the city because of its adequate infrastructure and investor support services. Its continuing urbanization is also luring investors into its suburban municipalities as well. To further explore its economic potentials, Cabanatuan is seeking to have a share of the ITBPO boom. The first call center in Nueva Ecija was successfully established in the city in 2008. The city government is providing prospective investors fast business applications processing, low business taxes, and other incentives to attract big ticket projects. In 2015, the city's total assets amounted to 3.719 billion Philippine pesos and the total income reached 1.696 billion Philippine pesos. Real estate Many Novo Ecijanos choose to resettle in Cabanatuan for proximity to job and other necessities. With the influx of people, residential developments followed and now more than a hundred subdivisions for A to D markets decimate the city. Large-scale residential developments are present, such as Lakewood City and Avita Sta. Arcadia Estates. Sta. Lucia Realty's Lakewood City is a medium to high-end project encompassing more than 170 hectares. Its centerpiece is a 64-hectare championship golf course, one of the largest in central Luzon. Ayala lands 87 hectare Avita Sta. Arcadia Estates is master plan to become a mixed-use development that will include the Avita Sta. Arcadia Residences, Avita Settings, and Avita Town Center. 
Also included in the roster of large residential districts are the Capitan Pepe Subdivision, Grand Victoria Estates, and Acropolis North by Sta. Lucia Realty. Ayala Land currently has five residential subdivisions while Vista Land has three in Sta. Lucia Realty, three. Recently, there is active development of residential subdivisions in Sta. Arcadia, Bangad and the stretch of Northeast Aurora Road. Prime lands in Cabanatuan are becoming pricier as demand for residential land props up with the entry of more Manila and Cebu-based land developers. Established players are being challenged by newcomers like Robinson's Land, SMDC, Philinvest and Aboitisland. SMDC's first horizontal housing development is currently under construction on a 25-hectare lot in Brgy. STA, Arcadia. Shopping centers The shopping centers of Cabanatuan draw a lot of people from the province and nearby places. The downtown has three out of the six established malls, Ney Mall, Walter Mart and SM Megacenter. A fourth downtown mall will soon be built by Robinson's Land. Another cluster of shopping malls can be found along Maharlika Highway south of the city center, Ney Pacific Mall, Robinson's Townville, which is connected to Ney Pacific Mall, and SM City Cabanatuan, the largest mall north of Metro Manila by gross floor area 154,020 SQM. SM City Cabanatuan is built as a regional SM Supermall. It features a garden park, a roof park, and the first ever SM large screen cinema in the country. Other shopping centers include Savemore Supermarkets, Pure Gold, a chain of Ney Supermarkets, and many small department stores. The Warehouse Club store S&R opened recently, forming a sprawling shopping district with Ney Pacific Mall and Robinson's Townville. Vista Mall, City Mall and Robinson's Place are the upcoming malls in the city. Hotels and restaurants to date, there are 35 prominent hotels, motels, apertels, inns, numerous resorts, and restaurants, fast food outlets, nightclubs, disco houses. Transportation The city is a major hub of transportation services in central Luzon. Cabanatuan City has a large number of bus companies operating provincial and regional routes, with the Cabanatuan Central Transport Terminal serving as the terminus. Jeepney operators serve routes within the province with some reaching as far to Dingalan, Baylor and Dalasig in Aurora, Alangapo City, San Fernando and Doe in Pampanga, Marivels and Balanga in Bataan, Baguio City in Benguet, Dagupan City and Tarlac City. Much of the city's population rely on public transportation such as tricycles and jeeps to get around the city. Maharlika Highway, or Pan-Philippine Highway, is the main highway traversing the city where most vehicles going to Cagayan Valley pass through. Nueva Ecija, Aurora Road links Cabanatuan to Baylor, Aurora, passing through rural towns in eastern Nueva Ecija. Burgos Avenue and Del Pilar Street serve as the city's main thoroughfare inside the downtown area. Other major roads include the General Tinio and Rizal Streets which run through the city proper in an east-west direction, Mabina Street, where two of the city's three universities are situated and the circumferential road that connects the downtown area to the Capitan Pepe Residential District. Two bypass roads were constructed during the early 2000s to decongest the Maharlika Highway and to spur new developments outside the downtown area. The 10.3-kilometer Felipe Vergara Highway provides a direct route to Cagayan Valley, while Emilio Vergara Highway links Santa Rosa to Nueva Ecija, Aurora Road, avoiding traffic bottleneck along Maharlika Highway. Cabanatuan was served by the Manila Railroad Company way back in the 1900s through the Balagtas cabanatuan line and was later abandoned after the war when scavengers have looted pieces of the rail tracks. Rail service was later resumed in 1969 after the rehabilitation of the rail tracks as mandated by a government order. The service was again abandoned in the 1980s when the route didn't fare much to the commuters. The old Cabanatuan Railway Station is located at Barangay General Luna and is converted to a day care center with the original structure remaining. Infrastructure improvements are ongoing with projects done by administration. All key intersections in the city are already signalized. Bicycle and tricycle lanes are currently being built while road widening of the Maharlika Highway from the present four lanes to eight lanes is on the drawing board. Road widening of all city and arterial roads from one, two-lane highway to three-lane highway is also being considered. Two proposed expressways will pass through Cabanatuan City if built. 
These are the North Luzon East Expressway, Quezon City to Cabanatuan, and the Central Luzon Link Expressway, Stex Tplex to San Jose City. Intercity, interprovincial buses from Manila serve the city, and are usually operated by Baliwag Transit, Inc., Five Star, Victory Liner, Genesis Transport Service Inc., GV Florida Transport, and Pangasinan Solid North. Jeepneys provide. Attractions Historical sites found in the city include Cabanatuan Railroad Station in Barangay General Luna, built in the early 1927 as the terminus of the now abandoned Balagtas Cabanatuan Line. The building has since been converted into a Barangay Civic Center and Day Care Center, with the original structure preserved. Camp Pangation, Prisoner of War Memorial Shrine, now Cabanatuan American Memorial, began as a military training camp for 20 years until converted into a concentration camp for Allied prisoners of war during the Japanese occupation. A popular tourist destination among war veterans by way of the World War II veteran's homecoming program, Camp Pangation. S. Liberation of World War II American prisoners of war held by the Japanese forces in January 1945 was the most successful rescue operation ever executed by the American military aided by the Filipino guerrillas who were fighting the invaders. That tactical operation was immortalized in the movie The Great Raid. Freedom Park is a provincial park located in front of the old provincial capital of Nueva Ecija. Civic spaces as well as various monuments and memorials can be found inside the park which includes a monument dedicated to General Antonio Luna who was assassinated in the nearby Cathedral of San Nicolas de Tolentino, Gen. Antonio Luna statue and marker in Plaza Lucero, a statue of Philippine hero General Antonio Luna astride a horse stands at the plaza in front of the cathedral on the exact spot where the brave general was assassinated in 1899 in the city that adopted him subsequently. Old provincial capital of Nueva Ecija located along Burgos Avenue, the old provincial capital was designed by prominent American architect William E. Parsons who also designed government buildings in Manila, Cebu and Laguna during the American colonial period. The old edifice has since been renovated and expanded, festivals and celebrations, Banatu Festival celebrates its founding anniversary as a chartered city. From its humble beginning in 2015, Banatu Festival aims to showcase the history, culture, talent, beauty and craftsmanship of Cabanatueños. Longanisa Festival One of activities in Banatu Festival and is held in the vicinity of the public market along Paco Roman Street. Apart from the local meat traders and costumers, tourists from nearby town are also joining the celebration. Highlights of this festival are the cooking contests and the different preparations for longanisa, native sausage like batate, longanising bawang, and longanising matamis, including spaghetti and binagungan. City tourist spot, Banatu Box Food Park, the city's premier food destination harboring different local entrepreneurs, located M. de Leon Avenue. Capitan Pepe Subdivision. Education Cabanatuan is the one of the region's educational center being home to more than 40 higher education institutions, one science high school, more than 50 public and private high schools, and more than 100 public and private primary schools. Most of the students of the province go to Cabanatuan to study and build their career in the city. Universities and Colleges, Abe International College Akatech Aviation College AMA Computer College Asian College of Science and Technology Asian Institute of Computer Studies AICS Asian Institute of E-Commerce AIE Cabanatuan Arulo University, Main Campus Arulo University South College for Research and Technology College of the Immaculate Conception Datamex Institute of Computer Technology, Cabanatuan City Dr. Gloria Laxon Foundation Colleges Eduardo L. Joseon Memorial College, School of Scholars, First Asian International Systems College, Good Samaritan Colleges, Interface Computer College, Closed, La Fortuna College, Midway Maritime Foundation, MV Gallego Foundation Colleges. Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology Sumaca, Main Campus Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology, General Tinio Street Campus North Central Academy for Culinary Arts 
Our Lady of Fatima University, Nueva Ecija Colleges, Philippine Statesman College, Provincial Manpower Training Center, St. Augustine Foundation College, St. John Regis Health Care Institute Inc., Skill Power Institute Wesleyan University, Philippines, Catholic Seminary, Maria Assumpta Seminary. Health Services Many hospitals and clinics can be found in the city, most are private and with modern facilities which made Cabanatuan City the center for medical operations and research in the province. Most residents of the province go to Cabanatuan for their checkups and appointments in hospitals and clinics within the city. List of hospitals, 3 public and 5 private. Dr. Paulino J. Garcia Memorial Research and Medical Center Eduardo L. Joson Memorial Hospital, Nueva Ecija Provincial Hospital M. V. Gallego Cabanatuan City General Hospital Immaculate Concepcion Medical Center of Central Luzon Nueva Ecija Doctors Hospital Nueva Ecija Good Samaritan General Hospital Premier Medical Center Wesleyan University General Hospital and Cardiovascular Center Sister Cities Angeles City, Pampanga Tarlac City, Tarlac Quezon City, Metro Manila Baguio City, Benguet Taguig City, Metro Manila Davao City, Davao del Sur Cebu City, Cebu Manila, Metro Manila San Fernando, Pampanga Gapan City, Nueva Ecija Calamba City, Laguna Aliaga, Nueva Ecija Santa Rosa, Nueva Ecija Santa Rosa City, Laguna Notable people from Cabanatuan Amorfina Malencio Herrera, Filipino lawyer and jurist who served as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines from 1979 to 1992. Herrera is a granddaughter of Emilio Aguinaldo. Willie Revillama, television host, actor, comedian and a recording artist grew up in Cabanatuan. Vic Sato, multi-awarded Filipino actor, television host, comedian. Christy Fermin, showbiz reporter, talk show host, and journalist. Paolo Ballesteros, Filipino actor, TV host and model. He is also a mainstay host of Eat Bulaga, Nestor de Villa, Filipino actor frequently cast in musical films. He was a gifted dancer, often paired with frequent on-screen partner Nida Blanca in both movies and television. His dancing talent led some people to call him the Fred Astaire of the Philippines. Ever Bartolome, Filipino folk and folk rock singer, songwriter, composer, poet, guitarist, bandoria player, bluesman, and painter. Catherine Bernardo, Filipina actress, singer and dancer. She is best known for her role as Mara in the primetime Filipino drama, Mara Clara. Rule S. Bayani, Filipino film and television director, writer, producer, who is best known for directing movies like One More Try, and No Other Woman and co-directing television shows like Budoy, Koki, Mula Sa Puso. Andrea Torres, Filipina actress, television host, dancer and commercial mode. John Paul Lazardo, also known as Japoy Lazardo, is a Filipino Taekwondo Asian Games bronze medalist, actor and commercial model. Yen Santos, Filipina actress and dancer. Part of ABS CBN Star Magic. Has appeared in Growing Up, Teleseria Pure Love and Current Teleseria Dream Dad. Samboy de Leon, Filipino professional basketball player who last played for the Star Hotshots of the Philippine Basketball Association, PBA. 
National Athletic Association of Schools, Colleges and Universities NAASCU, where he was awarded the league MVP in 2014 played for CEU Scorpions. References